Almost no other region in India combines the glory of the past with the exotic nature of the terrain as impressively as Rajasthan. In recent years, the full splendor of the Palace Hotel of the Rajput has been fully revived. Compared to many other cities, Jaipur, the former center of power of the Maharajas, contains few modern buildings. The city palace has changed little over the past hundred years. Part of the building is still used as a residence by the royal family. The Palace of the Winds, Hawa Mahal, is the most popular tourist destination in Jaipur. It typifies the romantic western notion of exotic India. These strange objects are like huge sculptures of modern art. However, they're actually the astronomical instruments of an ancient observatory. Fairy tale like water palaces were extremely popular with the wealthy Maharajas of Rajasthan. Surrounded by a wonderful park, the Jai Mahal Palace Hotel is one of the most beautiful and luxurious buildings in Jaipur. In this recently renovated palace, one can relive the lavish lifestyle of the former highest government official of the Rajput. The palace contains 102 elegantly furnished rooms, several spacious suites and a remarkable degree of comfort. Formerly, the 250-year-old palace was the residence of the former Prime Minister of Jaipur. A few kilometers beyond the hustle and bustle of Jaipur, the journey travels north across a natural and tranquil landscape. Here, it is as though time stands still. Twenty kilometers beyond the Keoladeo bird reserve is the small yet atmospheric Chandra Mahal Haveli Hotel. A rich Muslim trader had the Haveli built in 1853. It contains 23 individually furnished rooms. The Keoladeo National Park, an artificial swampland, was created by the Maharajas of Bharatpur. But 
the Maharajas did not create this sanctuary of the 19th century to protect endangered species, but for hunting. The park was designated as a protected area in 1956, although the Maharaja retained hunting rights here until 1972. Since then, thousands of indigenous water birds, including some endangered species, have discovered a safe habitat within the Keoladeo Ghana National Park. This diverse bird sanctuary, located outside Bharatpur, is not only of interest to ornithologists. The Lakshmi Vilas Palace Hotel, that is located in the heart of the capital of this tiny 17th century principality is an ideal location from which to observe the region's bird life. Since 1994, this former palace has been known as one of the best addresses in town. Surrounded by meadows, yet still only three kilometers away from the historic center of Bharatpur, the hotel has both a rural and urban ambience. Built in 1899, the Lakshmi Villas Palace played an important role in the social life of the Maharajas prior to it having been transformed into a hotel. The exquisite decor, including several valuable antiques, transforms a stay in this hotel into a wonderfully worthwhile experience. Situated on the formerly important caravan route between Jaipur and Bikana, the Shakawati region developed into an important center of trade. Even today, the palatial properties of the Mawa traders, the Havalis, indicate the region's former prosperity. Over the years, the traders of Shekawati proved to be extremely versatile and thus were not opposed to India's new British colonialists adjusting their business accordingly. experience what it's like to be a king. This dream can be fulfilled at the Samoda Palace. This award-winning hotel has frequently been ranked among the top 10 hotels in the world even though it's only been a hotel since 1987.
Those who stay in this former palace of the Rajput are treated to a rich and lavish lifestyle, full of Indian romance. The main feature of this luxurious hotel that has only 25 rooms and 18 suites is the magnificent Durbar Hall created by Rawal Shao Singh. The somewhat ostentatious rooms of the Samoda Palace are truly fascinating. There's something here for any taste or bank balance. One of the most interesting destinations in the Shekhawati region is Nawalgarh. The golden years of this town are still apparent by its more than 100 former traders' houses or havelis. With its magical blend of charm, elegance and hospitality, the Rup Niwas Palace Hotel has a well-deserved reputation. The architecture of this tranquil former residence of the Prince of Nawalgar contains elements of European design and 36 beautiful rooms. For many years, Mandawa has been one of the largest tourist centers in Shekawati. The town's former prosperity was due to its success as a center of trade. In 1755, Nawal Singh transformed this once insignificant desert village into a town by having defensive walls and a fortress constructed. Along Mandawa's main street, a number of splendid frescoes adorn the houses of the town's former traders. An intriguing variety of design and color The images range from traditional motifs to the erotic and also to those of today. Religious divinities such as Shiva, Nandi and Vishnu decorate several of the Havelis in the historic center of the town. Singh Fort was once responsible for the flourishing trade of the caravan route in this region and has now been turned into a comfortable and lavishly furnished hotel. In 
It contains 70 rooms and suites, each reflecting the opulent lifestyle and artistic flair of the Maharajas. Despite extensive restoration and modernization, the medieval atmosphere of the historic Mandawa fortress has been well preserved. Visitors from around the world appreciate the unique ambience of this hotel that provides a fascinating insight into the colorful history of the fort. The exceptionally harmonious combination of both old and new, as well as the magnificent panoramic view from the roof of the hotel onto the fortress and town below, provide an indelible memory of the Castle Mandawa Hotel. Blue City and City of Light Jodhpur, with around 700,000 inhabitants, has many sonorous names. Located on a 120 meter high rock, Fort Meherenga is one of the most impressive fortresses in India. In 1459, the name of the Rajput ruler, Rao Joda, was written into the history books as the builder and founder of the new capital of Jodhpur. Later, after the Maharajas of Jodhpur were forced to accept the reign of the Mughals, the palace was further embellished as there were no wars to finance and money was in abundance. It was only with the gradual downfall of the Mughal Kingdom that the city eventually regained its independence. Even today, the influence of the Rajput is evident. Below the fortress is the ornate tomb of Jaswantala. With a keen eye on retaining power within their territory, in 1818, the Maharajas of Jodhpur became loyal allies of the British Empire. Another of the city's most eminent landmarks is the Umayyad Bawan Palace. Containing 347 rooms, it's one of the largest private residences in the world. One section of the palace, which is an architectural mix of European, Rajput and Persian design, contains a luxury hotel. Magnificent marble and sandstone decorations give the palace, built between 1929 and 1943, a truly royal ambience. Responsible for the construction of the richly furnished and decorated building was Umayyad Singh, grandfather of the present Maharaja.
The Palace Hotel permits those with no royal blood to relive the lavish lifestyle of the Maharajas, albeit for a short time. The beauty of Udaipur has been featured in various historical accounts of travel in India. It is not surprising that the present leader of the Miwa still lives here. The largest palace in Rajasthan incorporates a large variety of designs. After all, its construction covered more than four centuries. Beneath the mighty city palace is another of Udaipur's famous monuments, the Jagdish Temple, surrounded by massive walls. Just outside the town are the splendidly decorated burial sites of the Maharajas, the Shatris. Udaipur has also served as the backdrop of several films. The palatial garden has been featured in films such as The Indian Tomb and The Tiger of Eshnapur. The city's ethnological museum provides a fascinating insight into the diverse cultures of Rajasthan and it also puts on interesting shows and demonstrations. A short boat ride across the picturesque Lake Pichola leads to one of India's most beautiful and luxurious regal hotels, the legendary Lake Palace Hotel. Built in 1746, the pleasure palace of Prince Yagat Singh was also the location of the James Bond film, Octopussy. Despite its transformation to an hotel, the white marble building has lost nothing of its past elegance. The sheer, unadulterated pleasure of spending a night in the Lake Palace Hotel in Udaipur does not come cheap. However, the breathtaking splendor of its 77 rooms and 17 suites is well worth the price tag. The journey through Rajasthan slowly draws to an end but its exquisite royal buildings will remain in the memory forever. The exceptional palace hotels of the Rajput, along with all the incomparable charm and unique atmosphere of a golden epoch, take those who come here back to a time of supreme grandeur and superlative luxury.